Okay, I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work, but I thought it would be a good idea to give it a try. Um, this is going to be a little gallery here for you to see, to look at. The first card was a, um, the, one of the examples I demonstrated actually to down um, Create and Craft using the um, the clear uh, die cuts, which I think are fab perfect for alcohol inks and uh, lots of things embossing, um, stenciling, using them as masks. And this one, the first card you're looking at here, this one, was um, was created just using really simple inking up the flowers and then a simple stamp background. The next one, a little bit of reflection on there, but hopefully you can see it. Um, this one is um, stamped. It was actually using the, the negative from the pop-out flowers from the first card. And I um, used my cut and dry form to stencil through the flower apertures using um, weathered wood distressing. And then I stamped over that using one of the fancy pants, um, I think it was, it was um, Bella brush. The flowers from that using the um, same ink. Uh, blocked it in a little bit with a little bit of water, created some stems just using a paintbrush and a little bit of the ink, and then stamped the same flowers and embossed them in, in silver on some acetate and overlaid that. And I just love that card, it's just so simple. Just it was just a, an afterthought. Not much expense there, using leftover bits of the of the die cuts, and um it just looks stunning. I, I love that one. Just the colours are it's classy little number. Next one, um this one was using um, mirror card, silver mirror card, um, used again the die cuts as a uh, template this time, drew around them, cut them out, inked them up using, um, there was definitely black um, alcohol ink in there and a, a greeny colour, I'm not sure which one it was but um, it just looks like wet, like distress, you know you heat metal and it changes colour, it looks really effective. This one here, um, the shape in the middle was what I was left with after um, creating the first card, so I inked up the background, Mary, Silver Mary again, stamped the floral designs, and then um, used the the removal um, method where when the ink before it fully dries, you buff it off. Use that's black archival ink, and um, you're left with this really um, funky. Basically, what it does is it breaks down the the, the ink. Um, Kind of softens it again, so and just but just the area of stamp. So when you buff it off, it releases it, it removes it, and you see the shiny background. I used um, a paintbrush and blending solution to create the stalks. And again, just really like that card. Now these, this one here is the first of the acetate um, book. I'll try and um, let you see a couple of the pages there. Again, really funky, but using the um, alcohol ink around the outside just to accentuate it. And this is the very first of these I've made. I was really pleased with it. How sad, using Spellbinders. Um, this is the octagon, which uh, it's, just a, it's the largest octagon and it just fits perfectly in that area. And this um, circle from one of the fancy pants in my words sets fits brilliantly in the centre. You can see how we just use different techniques. And obviously it's distressing. It's the law, it has to happen. And even this flourish on the back was from those chipboard. I just think those are really, really funky. Oh, and I used the negative again there to stencil through for the laugh on the back of that. And then the different one, this is the tag book. Um, using the die cuts again, just because it, it just works so well because it's just like they're floating in the middle of nowhere because you don't really see the acetate. And it just shows off the different sizes and how you can um, really use that transparency um, effect to see through the back. I haven't really embellished this one too much, it's just there really ready for photos or journaling or whatever. Simple but effective. Hopefully like myself. And there you go. So this is the first of my little mini galleries. The thing is, is if I do this with my new little toy, my flip video, um, it means that you're going to get the information. It's not polished, it's not pretty, it hasn't got fancy intros and outros, but you know what, the information's there and I can do this more frequently. So if you forgive the kind of rough around the edges, I will do my best. I thank you.